Now I want to go deeper and I want to give you some concepts within information that we'll use a lot throughout the rest of the course. And the first concept is a type of information, a kind of information, a variety of information, a, a one sort of information. Or on Facebook, for example, the main sort of information, the main kind, the main variety of information that they're concerned with is a person, right? A person is the main type of information on Facebook and most of what goes on in Facebook concerns people and the interactions between people. But Facebook doesn't only concern people. For example, Facebook has events. Facebook has locations. Facebook even has, if you remember what, um, uh, what Greg Badro says, Facebook even has something called uh, um, uh, tennis. Is a, is a piece, is a kind of information on Facebook. So concept number one. Well, did you hear that crack of thunder? It's a real, it's a real blazing storm out there. Um, concept number one, an information type. Concept number two, these types have attributes. When I have a kind of information like a person, there are certain things that it has to have in order for me to call it a person. For example, on Facebook, we have your name, we have your address possibly, we have your hometown, we have your sex, male or female, we have your birthday, we have all these things that you fill out in your profile, which are all the attributes about you that mean that that piece of information that you're creating there is a person. So we have the idea of an information type, which is like a person on Facebook or, or other kinds of information, other things on other, other, um, uh, on other, in other systems. But on Facebook, the main one is a person. And then those types have attributes. So for example, people have names, uh, addresses, email addresses, <coughs> excuse me, birthdays, etc., etc. And some of those are mandatory, you have to have them. And some of them are optional. Okay, concept number one, information type. Concept number two, types have attributes. Concept number three, attributes have values. The attribute is name. The value is Bob Boyko. That value has a certain form. I can't type one, two, three, four, five, six in the name because that's not a name. That's a number. Pasa. Instead, I have to type a name. Or birth date can't be Bob Boyko. It has to be a date. So we have the idea that information is broken into types. Those type ha types have attributes like name, address, phone number, uh, birthday, city of residence, you know, sex, et cetera, et cetera. And those types and those attributes have values. The sex can be male, female, maybe, maybe you allow an other. The name has to be a valid name. The birthday has to be a date, et cetera, et cetera. There are values. And the values are the things that go in the, um, that go in the attributes. Types, attributes, values. The final big concept is the idea of an information item, PASA. The information item is the set of values. So if we looked at all the values that are in my profile in Facebook, it would say Bob Boyko, here's his date of birth, here's his city, et cetera, et cetera, here are all his interests, all the things he's liked, all the things, all the status updates he's posted, et cetera, et cetera. Right, that would be all the attributes of Bob Boyko on Facebook. Information type, person, attribute, name, value, Bob Boyko, the item is all of the values that are me. All linked together, if you remember from previous lectures, all linked together by an ID. My ID groups all of those together into an item. The item of information is all of the values all grouped together under me. Now, how many items of type person are there on Facebook? Well, we know that there are about 700 million items of type person on Facebook. In other words, 700 million people on Facebook. Seven hundred million items of type person. All of those items have certain mandatory attributes. Mandatory attribute, for example, might be a username on Facebook. The username, therefore, there are seven hundred million usernames on Facebook. Birthday, on the other hand, is an optional attribute. Maybe there's only one hundred million birthdays on Facebook because a lot of people don't fill it in. However, the item of information contains all of those attributes whether they're filled in or not. So an item of information on Facebook has all of these attributes. Some of them are filled in, some of them aren't filled in. Okay, type of information, person, attribute, name, value, Bob Boyko, item, my name, Bob Boyko, my address, my city, my, you know, everything else that I type into Facebook, all bundled together, all linked together by my user ID. Okay, 